Good morning, this is Lori from the Pink Girly channel. <clears throat> I didn't see Mary on this morning. That's the Mary Atier. So I popped on early. Well, I planned to pop on early. And <clears throat> my coffee decided to go down the wrong way. So I've been having a coffin fit. So I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm not too sure how this is going to go. <clears throat> because I still feel like I need to cough some of that out. So I'm just going to continue with what I'm doing here. <clears throat> I might have to mute. Uh, until I get my <clears throat> throat adjusted and cleared. And if it takes too long, I'm going to have to skedaddle, I guess. I don't know. It's just crazy. <clears throat> and then, of course, you know, you need to blow your nose. So, good morning, good morning. Hi, Aunt Beck. Good morning. Aunt Beck, I don't know if I told you this, but when I was doing one of my bug streams, uh, one of the girls put your name in to win some bugs. So, I've got a little, little envelope of bugs headed to you. Should go in the mail today. You were one of the winners. How are, uh, how are things in your neck of the woods? Let's see here. I think I need a little, a little more here. <clears throat> yeah, some of them are um, the ones that Tim, well, they're all, they're all Tim Holtz, but some of them are the ones that, um, you kind of have to build them, put them together. They've got different parts. So I use double-sided paper so you can maybe have a little variety in your bugs and switch them around. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hi, Angie. Good morning. You're cleaning? Angie, I'm tired. I just got up. We were... We were up at uh, Keisha's all night. Oh, my goodness. That girl. Whew. I fell asleep at one point. <clears throat> I had a little bit of a nap. So I was good for a little while, but then it started to catch up with me again. Hey, Galen. Good morning. Good morning. There's our other bug winner. Alien. <clears throat> Your bugs should be on their way today. I have the envelopes ready. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. This is awful. Oh, they guzzle in water. Good morning, my Barbara. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> <clears throat> Making French bread in a cast iron pan. Oh, pardon me. Blow oh, my nose. Half an hour. Gotta go after my sister who's seven. Oh. Oh, Gail. Okay. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate that. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my goodness. Excuse me. Okay. Drinking more water. It's nice that you can be there for her. Yeah, really. Ooh. Okay. So let me just get started. And you know, as people filter in, we can catch them up or everybody will be able to see what I'm doing. That's well. I hit my mouse and then I keep knocking myself <clears throat> out of frame on my computer. You're going to make vegetable soup too. Ooh. <clears throat> my mom's, my well, my nanny's recipe for vegetable soup. We absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I could, I'm going to have to do that come fall. All right, so what I do is when I'm working in my craft area, and I get busy doing something and then 
oh, I get another idea and I want to go on to the next thing. And sometimes I just clean up stuff and either pop it in a box or a bag and then I go through it later. Well, I was going through a box and I found a stack of these. <clears throat> uh, I guess they're 9 by 12 envelopes. You know, they're not really a manila color. They're that yellowy color. And they have the clip. I guess I could measure it. I'm terrible with measurements. Well, full 11 and a half. I would guess it's eight and a half by 11. No, nine by 11. <clears throat> I guess they call it 12. But see if that folds down. Maybe they measure it. Well, I cut some off the end too. So we're going to go with nine by 12. And uh, so I came across a bunch of these. But prior to that, I mean, some of them were good, but some of them, see, I had written stuff on and some of them were spattered, had some paint marks on them. So really, I probably would just throw them out. <clears throat> but I was sitting here working a couple of days ago. I thought, you know, I just wish I had something that I could keep a couple of my stencils in. Now, I've mentioned before that I like keeping this little stencil right by my desk so I can grab it if I want to, you know, stencil the corner of a page or a project or whatever. And I have most of my stencils under my desk in one of those 12 by 12 <clears throat> scrapbook paper bins. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep my hands right here until I get some paint on. And um, it works out well for storage, but you know what, to use it, and drag it out every time I want a little something. It's annoying to me. It's just how I am. I, I just, I don't get it out. I go to plan B. I use a stamp or whatever. I just don't <clears throat> use my stencils because I don't, ah, that's way too much. Because I don't feel like dragging it out. That tub. So I had thought, well, I, sh I should make some kind of a little holder to pop some stencils in that I, I want to use on a regular basis and keep it, you know, by my desk. Hey, Judy O, good morning. And then I found these envelopes. So I thought I would mess around with these to see if I can do something that'll work for me so well i didn't want to do that so i started messing around with them the other day i just picked out <clears throat> the colors colors i like i like green's my favorite color purple is my next favorite color and then i go to orange so i didn't do the orange but i just thought if i could cover up <clears throat> most of this yellowy nonsense I could do whatever, you know, collage, use an envelope, leave them the way they are, just really have it as um, a vehicle to serve a purpose and not be fun. Well, that's, that's probably not going to happen because I like to fiddle too much. I like to do me a little fiddling. <clears throat> so what I did was... I cut off the end, the one end of the pocket of the envelope, you know, the bottom end, cut that. And then I cut a little divot and I didn't want to mess around with <clears throat> trying to get the clip out. I didn't want the clip. So I just went in with a, a round circle punch and I just popped that out as well. So now I'm just covering <clears throat> the surface. And then when I was, <clears throat> goodness me, I'm sorry. My, my throat is just not cooperating. So when I was um, working on another project, I had this large, large piece of seam binding, which I did iron it. It doesn't look like Hey, Jacqueline. Good morning. Boy, everybody's up early today. 
<clears throat> uh, many of us were at Keisha's till the wee hours of the morning. <clears throat> and I'm going to see if I can use this as my thread to tie it together and then leave the edges really long so I can bring it around to the front and tie it shut. And I'm hoping to just use this to keep stencils in it that I want to have handy when I'm sitting at my desk doing whatever. So that's the idea. I know it was four for me. Oh my. Yep. So it was an early morning for Gail as well. <laughs> yeah, she's just coming on again today. I guess, uh, would she say around three? But I guess that's central. It's hard for my old body to keep up with her. So I'm just going to scrape some paint. And then I was thinking I might use, uh, if I get this together, the way I think it's going to work. Oh, Judy just got home. She flew over New Jersey. Oh, Judy, that's sweet. Yeah. I'm stuck here in New Jersey. I really wanted to cover more of this than I actually am covering. I want to get, I just don't like the, I just don't like the yeller. Yeah, for real, Aunt Beck. Woo! Yeah. Where were you headed that you flew over Jersey, may I ask? Or is that being too, too newsy? I can be very newsy at times. Generally. I'm not so newsy, but sometimes I'm a little too newsy. No. Well, they are younger women, so they do have that. But I have a feeling probably a not would not a lot would change for them even as they get older. All right, now I have a sneeze coming. Oh, oh it's working its way back to you, babe. So, Miss Barbara, what do you got going on today? Are you waddling? Are you cooking? What are you up to, boy? Look, I didn't do a very good job on this one at all. Uh -huh. I'm just looking at my paint singing <clears throat> maybe I need a little something something else in there I don't know let me do a little bit of white uh, her boss needs files for a court case he calls and I fly his plane his fuel wow Judy that sounds like an awesome job Nice gig, girl. Golly, you would think that <clears throat> in this day and age it would, he would just suffice with electronic. Nice, nice. Is it just the United States or sometimes do you get to go outside of the United States? My son was thinking about, <clears throat> well, he did interview and he got offered the position, but then he declined it for a variety of reasons. But he was thinking about, um, well, not thinking about, he interviewed for a job with the airport, the Philadelphia airport. And um, gosh, there's some perks there. I had myself <clears throat> on a plane going and seeing my uh, 
moon is sun a couple times a year. If I were in better, better physical shape, I'd get that job for myself. Because <clears throat> the fellow he interviewed with said they were desperate for people, you know, for help. So they probably would hire an old, an old bird like me. So let's see. Barbara, my dad would say the same thing, only he would say, my arms are too, aren't your arms tired? A week ago, I picked his kids up from their moms and took them home. Next week, I'll be going to Hawaii and then Japan. Judy, oh, I had no idea you had such a, an eclectic life. Girlfriend, how nice. Really, Gail? Yeah. Well, we'll get into that scenario, but this and this was just standing behind a counter checking people in as they go on a flight, you know. <clears throat> I couldn't stand that long. But the perks. Woo! So I mentioned it to a couple of people, like my son-in-law. He's like, why, do you think I should get a job down there? And I'm like, well, if you want to travel, it's a good opportunity. I mean, he's got, um, he's a web designer by trade, but he likes to do a lot of different things. Oh, sorry, girls. And, uh, you know, I was hoping I could, because the, the perks are for family and friends. Well, if you did it all the time, I guess it would kind of wear on you and, you know, not be as attractive. But, you know, if it just goes in spurts, man, that sounds doable, right? Cool. Did you ever meet any interesting or... Um, Maybe I shouldn't say interesting. Maybe I should say, good morning, Riri. How are you? Oop, that paint just went a-flying. Um, somewhat famous folks traveling. I know. I don't know if I would notice anybody. That might be, um, you know, as you would say, well known or hmm, how would you say, not necessarily just, a, you know, a personality kind of thing, not necessarily a star. My daughter and I, what were we doing? I think we, we were in New York, going to New York City for something. And uh, <clears throat> we were in the train station, and this fellow walked by, and I said to my daughter, I think that's a, that guy's an actor. <clears throat> and she didn't think I was right. She couldn't really remember who I was talking about. His name is Scott Cohen. Um, gosh, years ago, he was in a TV series called The Tenth Kingdom, I think it was. I don't know if he was part human and part animal or anyway, this guy really looked like him. <clears throat> so I was describe I was describing the show to her. And my daughter's one of those, hey Kathy Lake, good morning. One of those uh, know it all kind of kids, but she like really knows it all. You know what I mean? One of those. And she said, Oh, I don't know, Mom. <clears throat> and then uh once we got on the train and we she looked up a picture of him. She said, oh, you might be right. So I think, I think we saw him. He was just, 
in the train station waiting for a ride. Friends are in the box. Friends are in the box. Good morning to everyone who's coming in. So what I'm doing is I found some envelopes that were headed to the trash. I had written on them. Some of them had already had some paint spattered on them. These are 9 by 12. I guess you call them manila envelopes. They're not really that nice manila color. They're more of a... More of a, uh, you know, that yellowy, ugh, kind of a not so nice yellow color. All right, the, the arm, the little arm that holds my camera has a light, a ring light attached to it, which I've never really been able to figure out how to use that well. And, uh, Let's switch this out. A couple different colors here. Sea glass. So I wonder what that's like. <clears throat> so I've been hanging my envelopes up on there. And with my ceiling fan, they're drying pretty, pretty quickly. So I found a bunch of these. And uh, I was wanting to make some kind of a vessel. To hold some stencils that can sit by my work desk here without having to go dig in my 12 by 12 storage container that I have under my desk. And so I'm thinking I'll put like my Tim Holtz one, that little one there that I got from the market that I love so much. And and then I'll, I'll get out my my uh, storage bin, too, and pick out a couple other ones. And I don't have to keep it just for stencils. You know, I can put a host of different things in there. But I have probably too many of these um, envelopes. But I thought, well, if I have them, I might as well go ahead and use them instead of throwing them out. So what I did, I'll show you in a minute. The first thing I did was, well, I did fold it in half to see if I was going to like the size and if it would work for what I was wanting. And then I cut the, the bottom off, <clears throat> the bottom off of the envelope. I guess I took off about maybe a half an inch. I think it's that band, you know, that runs across the bottom. And I didn't want the metal clasp. And I'll tell you why once I get some of these dry and I start to put it together. So instead of fussing with trying to pick that metal clasp out, I took a, a round punch and just... Now that's deeper than I normally would do. And probably I should have folded... Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have folded that clasp up and probably got a little tighter to it and not have such a deep, deep dip. But eh, it's all right. It's going to be all right. <clears throat> and this is mostly just to be uh, a useful journal, if you will. But I thought I could have fun decorating some of it as well. Mm, we'll see how it goes. So now I just picked out a couple of colors instead of going all crazy. Okay, Gail's going to have to go. All right. Have a great day, everyone. I'll catch up later today after I get my sister back home and settled. Okay, you're in my prayers, Gail. Already sent up a few little shouts for your sis. Hope it goes well. Let us know, Gail, okay, how she makes out. Sisters are a wonderful thing. <clears throat> so now I'm just scraping on uh, paint just so it's all kind of goes together to some degree. And I'm just wanting to cover up this yellow mess. And this being acrylic paint, 
it dries fairly well. In fact, you enabled me the other day at Murray's when you said Joanne's was having some sale. So I needed a couple of different colors of some of the acrylic paint. So I went on and uh, ordered a few bottles. And because uh, I need to get back to my jelly plating, I was watching um, Shannon Green and she um, recommended, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the girl's name, Cat, Cat Kerr maybe? Cat Kerr, does that sound familiar to anybody? This gal just had a little, um, gosh, I think it was only like a 20 minute video. Wham, bam, and she was done. Very impressive. But transferring um, images from magazine pages, oh my gosh, I just want to do that so badly. And I've tried that several times, and I can't really get it to work. So, and then I had watched Shannon as well. So I think, I think for me, uh, one of the things, and I, I just noticed this when Shannon was working on her transfers, I think for me, sometimes I get too involved with too many colors and trying to go in too many different de directions, right? So the, my takeaway from Shannon's video was, you know, just use a couple of colors and stop, you know, getting so crazy with all this nonsense. So I'm anxious to try. Of course, my room is still not put back together yet. And um, I've been busy filling boxes for the market. So I just haven't been able to. This is really dark. This is a nice dark purple. And I used it a little on one of the other envelopes and it was way out of control way too much i don't know if i have any left in here i don't want to get too much because i don't want that dark purple to overtake what i'm doing i think that one might be just about dead we'll add a little white A little bit of little of white, a little of red. That's not the song. Hi, Malia. Good morning. Good morning. Malia, are your uh, kids back to school? See, I forget what um, part of the country everybody lives in. Let's use a sea glass if I can get some more of that out. That's kind of a adds a little blue in there janet nash hello hello no so it's not just me <laughs> you know devin uh devin rex for art she is so good at that jelly plate and nonsense and um I really am wanting to try this. So I might have to try it later just because you know how sometimes you get things in your head and you just have to um, do it to get it out of your brain. But with this, I, I oh gosh, I, I can't remember her name. I think it's Kat Kerr. Well, if you go to the Shannon Green video, where she's, uh, I forgot what she calls it, but you'll be able to pick it out. It was just a few days ago, um, I think. It's not one of her older videos. And um, she, you know, has the girl's name there, and she has a link that you can click on to go to her channel. But they, they, um, build like a like a scene with um their magazine pieces see i i find the magazine page that i want to transfer good morning vanessa vanessa i did look at you the um i apologize i did look at the uh 
uh, email you sent me and I will get back to you, but I just have been slammed with some things and um, I've just been focused on what I needed to get done first. And I, I apologize, but I did look at it and I will get back to you. Um, so she was watching this gal and what she does is say, okay, so say you have a girl um, on a, a page, a, a magazine page, okay? And instead, of, and she's there saying like maybe she's got cows in the background and say maybe you don't want the cows. Maybe you want her looking at uh, a wine glass or a bottle of wine or maybe you want her looking at an elephant, not cows. Well, they tear what they want and put that down. And then what Shannon does is or the, maybe they don't even tear it. They're going to she's going to cover up the cows with this other image. She tears out the second image and she just uses a little bit of a, of a glue stick and puts that next to the girl. You know, so when she flips it to, to do the transfer, the the um, elephant's not going to move. Are you following me? Is this too confusing? And it's just so amazing. And so then she makes the pull and she, you see the transfer down on her plate. And so say something didn't turn out the way she liked or she changes her mind. Before she puts on that other color to make the pull, she takes they take a baby wipe and just wipe out what they don't want. And then they can stamp or... It was amazing. If you like jello plating at all, or you just want something cool to watch, find the find Shannon Green's video, and then you'll you'll be able to find that other gal. Really cool. Really cool. Okay, so see, now I've probably got way too many of these, but while I've got them, I might as well do them. Oh, was that my phone dinging? Oh, probably. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to put this one up here to dry. Let's see if this is anything earth shattering. Oh my gosh. My son never fails to call when I'm streaming. God bless him. He is such a good son with catching up with his mother. Now he's going to be ringing my cell phone next. I don't know what my husband's doing. Usually he grabs the phone. Oh, I think he got it. Okay. So I have probably too many of these. And, um, but, okay. Okay. Cat Kerr. Okay, yeah, that's it, Aunt Beck. Thank you. Oh, Malia, that's that's a cool idea. I didn't even think about that. Cool. All right, I have um, right up next to me here. Well, at least I did have. Where? Yeah, it's right there. A um, what's her name? Vicky Booten. Vicky Bouton, Vicky Booten, little scraper thing. I might uh, see. I ordered purples from Joanne Fabrics because see my purples. Are getting low. Whoops! Just flip some paint. We knew what you meant, Janet. Not a problem. So, Janet, you won my, um, I should have put that over there. That's all right. You won my giveaway of my little stitch stamps. And I thought, well, maybe I should just, you know, ship them to you instead of, you know, like a package instead of like mail. So, I checked out the um, the potatoes, potatoes. I checked out the shipping. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. 
So I have to find a long envelope, which I know I have, but I just want to tell you when you get them, I'm probably cutting, going to cut the plastic in half so I can get them in a number 10 envelope. So I apologize about that, but I think that would be the better way to go to get them to you rather than sending them. They're not, they're really not that expensive. You know what I'm saying? I just want to share what I, what I have that I won't be using because my sisters gifted me a different set. So this one's a little stripey, stripey. So there you have it. And then the other day I tuned on, I turned on, I tuned on, I tuned in and turned on Fran on the Edge. And she was doing, I think she has different size jelly plates. And she was doing things on her jelly plate that were beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So if you get a chance to check her video out. Um, gosh, there's just so much good stuff to watch, right? Interesting and interesting. All right, I'm starting to run out of room here. Okay, I think I only have one more left to do. Now, this one I just sewed. Okay, Janet says, oh, yes, make them flat and light as possible. By removing power. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Well, they're bendy. So they're on acetate, which I, that's not going to weigh too much. But it was mostly the size, I think, you know, putting it in the bigger envelope. So, so I'm not crazy about the gesso. It didn't cover up my writing up here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my green and purple and just have it all kind of be the same. I don't know what color purple this is. But it's like a dusty, dusty purple. And I love it. But alas. Hey, Adele. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Um, I don't know why I'm thinking it's like a piazza or piazza. Piazza. Okay, that's a line from You've Got Mail. There's something not quite right with my brain. Okay, and the reason I'm mostly scraping... Oh, I didn't get uh, Vicky's glutenous thing out. It's because it goes quicker, right? And if I'm just using it as a base and I'm going to do other things on top of it, I might as well. This has had some use. I got this um, for a really good price from Tuesday morning when it used to, when they used to have some really cool art supplies. I guess this is kind of dark for you to be able to see. That's not doing anything. Now I have that song, Bottle of Red, Bottle of White, in my mind. And uh, just a little shout out to Devin Rex for art. Devin, if you should happen to pop in or be lurking or watch this later... I went and listened to Elton John's Tiny Dancer, and you were exactly right. I just, I couldn't bring it to my head, and I did remember. Lori, I put, oh, you did? Oh, great, Barbara. Thank you. I didn't notice. Thanks so much. Yeah, she's a genius. I hadn't heard of her before. So what was Mary up to today? Does anybody know? Was she going to get a start and go shopping? I'm assuming she'll be on later tonight like usual. Okay, let me ask this question. Does anybody hear? <clears throat> Bottle of wine, 
fruit of the vine. I remember that one. Does anybody here watch a PBS uh, series called Grant Chester? Did I ask this before? In fact, I know you said you watched Doc Martin. But my sisters had me watching Grant Chester. And there was like a super exciting episode the other night. <laughs> oh, Judy, if I'd had the nerve, I would have loved to have done that. Can you imagine? I was in a place and stuff as a as a youngster growing up and we had uh, like a summer summer program and they always they did a lot of different stuff but they always did play a play so i was always involved in that all right so that one's still a little too wet to do the flip side so let's see what we have here all right so now this isn't so great but you know i'll deal with that as, as i go through so my idea is okay so i have them folded where this meets the crease where my flap is so if i want to flap i can right i don't have to but i can i have options so then i thought what i would do is i will flip them now i gotta be careful because some of these are not as dry as others i will flip them opposite so i don't have all the flaps on one side see now see that's starting to come up i'll have to glue that so i did it exactly opposite what i said i was going to do so then if i want to i could really flap over two so when i trim this down i trim them a little short so that i would have room for a flap over Selling Sunset Cheesy. Oh, I never heard of that. Well, if anybody watches Grand Chester, I just want to know what you thought of the the most recent episode. It just aired, I think, for me, Thursday. Oh, my gosh. So no matter how I do the outside one, I'm going to have one that's not. But that's not that can be OK. That can be okay. All right, so that was dry. So now I want to go the other way. Put this one in here. Mm. Don't mind me. I'm going to be flipping back and forth because I want to maybe not have this one's a little more purple forward. So I kind of want to think about that a little bit. See, there's another one that's real greeny. I don't know why that one's so purple forward hmm. oh I got a big white spot on that one <laughs> so, hey Beth Schuler. good morning good morning good morning do, 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 do. All right, this one's got a big blobber, a big blobber right there, like a big old paint boogie. All right, maybe I'll hit that with my heat gun just a little bit. Hit it with the heat gun. Hold, please. Okay, I'm going to do this a little, I'm going to start a little rough. And then, and then I forget what she said. And then she goes into that. All right, so let's, but I guess this really doesn't matter, does it? This one I didn't do so good on. It's all right. It's all right. And then I've got, oh, look, I've got one I did not do. One, two, this is plenty. 
Oh, but see, I just can't. Then what would I do with this? I would throw it away. I just can't. I just can't. How long have I been? See, I've been doing this almost an hour. I don't know, Miss Lena, is she coming on today or not? She might be coming on today. Miss Lena Valina. All right. Let's see if I can use up. Kind of looks a little bit like bug kill, you know, instead of road kill. A little bit buggy. I'm a little bit buggy. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I, I don't know. I don't know where my brain goes. Boop, boop. Oh, goodness. See, this is what happens when you don't close your flap. I probably have a great big paint boogie in there. So what's everybody else up to today? I think I might just take the day. I've got my two boxes out for the mailman to pick up for Keisha for the market. So I've got that done. So I think I might go clean up the mess on my kitchen counter because that's where I can stretch out and, you know, pack my box. Well, I don't pack them. My husband packs them for me because they have this box called a game board box. Of course, they, they just they just discontinued it, so they don't have it anymore. But I can't get my arm all the way in it to get to the bottom. So he... He's six four, so you know he's got those long go go gadget arms. <clears throat> so he packs those for me. So I've got two of those ready to go, which feels great. And then once I clean up my mess there, I might just goof off for the rest of the day and I might try my although I should do a video. I keep forgetting I should be doing videos. Uh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Look, you can draw with your palette knife and make little I was. I decided to draw Okay, so I fell asleep, had a little nap and then Keisha was still on so I decided to pick up a sketchbook and sketch Well, my go-to sketches are faces and eyes and stuff when I just don't want to think about anything and I just want to draw. Okay, you're just going to go through a box of books and cut collage ephemera from the books. Wonderful. And um, I gave a caution to everybody last night. Don't draw noses after midnight. After midnight doesn't go doesn't go so well. All right, I'm gonna let these go. And let's put these away for now. I don't think I'm gonna be using these anymore today. At least not with this project. So my neighbor is 93, her name is Betty, and I keep trying to talk her into figuring out, you know, the YouTube and watching live videos. I haven't been able to convince her to do that yet, but I think I eventually will. She uh, used to really like making cards and sending cards to her friends. Janet is slow stitching at Ben's and drinking loads of tea. Oh, that sounds lovely, Janet. I'm not too good of a slow stitcher. Dell's going to stay in and stay cool. Okay, sent, okay, Barb's husband sent a text message. Breach, which is happening out there. 
Okay. All right, Barbara. Thanks, honey, for letting us know. Okay. I'm going to use my heat gun. And... I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you something. Oh, my, my friend Betty. Anyway, she um, had carpal tunnel surgery, and it's just not. Well, the doctor said it was going to take a year. It's not a year yet. And um, she doesn't really think it did a whole lot to help her. Anyway, she's becoming where it's less and less, it's more and more difficult uh, for her to be able to do regular day-to-day -day things. And she's bored, she lives by herself, and um, I think I've mentioned her before. But she has a creative mind, you know, and she was artsy artsy for a long, long time. So, <clears throat> I thought, I wonder if she would like to do, maybe delve into um, a glue book type of thing. So, I mentioned it to her, and she was open to that idea. So, the other day, I sent her down a composition book and some fodder. Yes, Miss Keisha Marie, if you're listening, fodder. And a couple of stickers and some napkins and some glue sticks. And uh, I wrote her a note to tell her how to get to YouTube to maybe watch a few videos. So I'm hoping that will see her thing has always been, well, why are you doing that? What, what, what do you use it for? And trying to get her to get to the place where you just do it. You have returnus? Barb, 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 Barb. Good job. So, trying to get her to um, get to the mindset where it's you just do it for fun. You do it for your own enjoyment, uh, for a creative outlet. It doesn't have to have a purpose you know you don't have to make it for anybody or send it to anybody you know that kind of thing so we'll see so she uh, her tablet was dead needed a charge so she hasn't watched any videos yet all right so now i'm just stacking these and because i'm going to try to use Good morning, Pam. Nice to see you. Um, I'm just going to punch holes in here. Now, I'm going to want it to go this way. I do believe. I do believe. Now, I didn't make a template to punch these holes. And I was thinking seven. I want an odd number to do a pamphlet stitch. And I'm going to try to use, this may not work. Just got back from dropping off the kids. Oh, that's right. It's Friday. Woohoo! Happy dance. Happy dance. And then when I end out, finish out on the outside back, Hopefully, I'm going to have very long pieces left so I can tie it shut if I want to. Okay, here comes Subby. You're, you're headed out? All right, sweetie. Brain shoulder is infected. What, honey? Brain shoulder is infected. Oh, it is? We called the doctor when she called in some antibiotics. Right? Is he home yet? Home? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Our son was having problems. He felt with his one shoulder, um, he had had that minor surgery, and uh, his shoulder is infected, so he's got to get an antibiotic for that. Um, Barbara has to domestically bake an apple pie. Secret code. 
so I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, this is pretty sturdy, uh, but I wanted, you know, something a little wider to come around and, and then tie it shut. If So I'm going to use my awl, which will make larger holes. And this is, you know, just for me to use to have things sitting by my desk that I can pull out and use without... Um, Having to store stencils or really whatever in a bin, right? So I'm not, it's not like, you know, a journal that I'm going to sell. If you could even call it a journal. I was craving a pie last night. Keisha was selling um, die cuts. And one of the ladies said, thank you, Dell. Of course, he's on a camping trip. See, he lives with my mom. And my mom's short and her eyesight's not that great. And um, she, could, she couldn't really see it. And it's at the top of his shoulder. He can't, re he can't really see it well. I might, I might end up flipping this one this way. I don't know. I don't know about that back. I might add something. We'll just see. I might not even use that pocket. <sighs> it's the one with the sugar and butter apples, Becky. Oh, I love sugar. All right. So I'm thinking seven. <clears throat> Let me get a pencil and see if I can. So I want to go in the center. And then, of course, I want to go here. And then I want to get two in between, right? Am I, am I thinking correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Dum, da dum, dum, dum. You're looking for envelopes? All right. Love to hear that. Woohoo. Yeah, I was just going to pitch these. So, I mean, and you don't have to use envelopes that you were going to pitch. Of course, you can use regular envelopes. Okay, so now I'm looking for my. Oh, there it is, of course, on the boa. I'm going to get my old catalog. Because I'm going to use that to stab my all in. My all in all. And I'm using my all because I want larger holes. Oh, Barbara's saying, no pie baking today. On a serious note, the ITT team at my husband's office just sent an alert about an Apple security breach. So, needed a kick into action. All right. Okay, so, I'm just going to poke. And there's not that many, you know, I mean, this should be easy to poke through, right? through i think i did i think it i think it did i think it did oh yeah that one definitely did okay okay 
Now, I don't usually do seven, but I thought with the um, seam binding, I'm not sure how, you know, sturdy that might hold the pages. So I thought if I did seven, I'd be able to, to do it and have it be a little more sturdy. So we'll see. Best laid plans, right? Don't always don't always work out. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can just roll this and tape it. You know, like the end of a shoestring. Okay, Vanessa, I noticed that she was on when I was, um, I didn't have my computer, I was using my phone, and I thought, oh, dang, I missed her. I could have been double watching. I'll have to put it on today. All right, let's see if this will work. I'm just wrapping some, oh, look, I've got so much paint on my fingers. Yeah, let's. Let's take care of that. It was funny. <laughs> I have so much paint on my fingers. Okay, so now I'm thinking I might do some stenciling, right? Um, I can do some stamping. I can do some inking. I can do whatever. Napkins. Like I sent my neighbor some tissue paper. I could stamp on some tissue paper and just do whatever. Because to tell you the truth, I don't think I want to be looking at this. Not that I'm going to have it open all the time, but it's just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah, Zena the sassy crafter. She hasn't been on in a little while. Well, at least not that I... I don't, everybody's saying they're having trouble getting notices. She was on twice yesterday. Wants to do a jewelry haul. Oh. Show and brag. And then on with Jen. <laughs> she took you to Wawa. Oh, man. I was going to take you on my trip when I went to the shore the other day, but it just uh, it just didn't work out. The first place we stopped, we checked out a park. That was a bus, so I didn't even get out of the car there. And then my husband was using the charger. My phone wasn't all the way all all the way charged, and I just didn't do it. I am a slug. Okay, fingers are semi-cleaned off. Now, maybe I'll be able to use a little bit of tape. This may not work. I may have to go to plan B. I'm just kind of, I'm trying to roll that. I have to take it since you did. It was hilarious. I ordered whatever this. Does. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of in, like Mary asks permission. Like if you go in, and I guess Dee Dee does too, and I guess that's you know what you should do. But I feel a little, I feel a little silly doing that. We're a trash bag profession. Okay, so I just rolled that as tight as I could and put some tape on here. So let's see. What a new. I mean, I have a very long piece of this. 
Oh no, I don't want to go in there. See, I'm getting overexcited. I want to go in here. Oh yeah, that's not going to work. Hold on. I have to think, I have to repunch from this side. I think to make the hole a little bigger. And you know how when you punch it, the paper kind of does an in and an outie? No, the outie I think would be a hard. hard to get that to go through I'm trying to put my tools right back where i where i got them yeah i might have to do one pit oh look oh look oh look she went live she went live again on her channel right after jen got off oh my gosh how much coffee did she have Okay, this isn't working. I don't have much grip. So I need a little, little help here. All right, I'm scooting each page down, at least till I get started, and then let's see. Yeah, she's a night owl. I used to be a night owl. I think I'm a night owl, but I was not. Now, I want a lot left on this end. because I want to be able to tie it. So, and then I don't want to um, get where I'm like moving all my threads, right? So I just want to make this really long, really, really long. Of course I could always stitch a piece on. That might be a better way to, to think about it. So, okay, I'm not used to doing seven. So do I want to go short first and then keep all right, let me think of that. I go here, here, then here, here. Yeah, let's go all the way to the top. I should have put a, I should have put a little piece of why. Oh, that's really close. Let me move my camera up a little bit. Oh, Vanessa. Okay. Now, if you're anal like me and you just want to straighten out your little, straighten out your little ribbon or whatever you're using. Ooh, I kind of like the way that looks, girls. I like it. I like it. Hey, Mikey. I just think I'm going to end up short here. So I'm just, I'm going to pull more through before I get too far along. Because if I have too much, I don't um, mind cutting that right and having it left over a little bit so I can put it in my little I don't want to 
ask any personal questions, Vanessa, but do you have COVID or are you dealing with something else? Okay, now I've got my, I think I got my cords. All right, I want this one. This is the one I want. I think. I think I pulled the wrong one. You've been sick all week, too? Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So, this one is going to go down here at the bottom. I haven't seen Marty in a while. Was Marty there last night? How's she doing? missed the song whatever it was I missed the song all right now let me straighten this little doodad up here Hopkin. I don't think I know her. I have an upper, oh, upper respiratory. Yeah, that's horrible. All right. This one here is a little, some of these are a little off, but that's it. That's all right. All right, now here's where it gets tricky. I'm going to sneak it in the second hole. Those were the days. Oh, thank you. Those were the days. There's my Marty. Her ears were ringing. How are you? You've been on my mind. See, the thing of it is, if I pull these apart, then that's going to loosen. But I might just have to do it because... I don't think if I put, I wonder, let's try this. I wonder, wonder, ooh, 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 who wrote the book of love? Tell me, tell me, tell me, oh, who wrote the book of love? What if I try to push a needle up in there through my tape ooh, ooh, hey there's a me a me how are you nice to see you there we go that's what i'm talking about look at that girls now oh see that didn't work never mind i got through but then I was in too bit of too much of a hurry and too excited. Let's try it again. And maybe if I grab. All right, so let's. So I've taped the end of my seam binding, right? And 
And then I just pushed a large sewing needle, a darning needle through there. Now my Yeah, it's like an embroidery needle bath, yeah. But my seam binding is too thick to thread it. Well, at least I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Maybe I have one with a bigger hole. Wait a minute, let's see. I know I probably have with it, one with a Jagunda hole. I wonder if I can squish it through there. I wonder if I, I will confuse myself with. Yeah, I don't know if I have. I have. Um, oh, you know what would work? I've done this before. And I've thought to myself, now you're going to remember that you put these here, Lori, right? But Lori doesn't remember. I have those circle. Oh, look. Oh, look, girls. It will work. Now, whether I can pull it through, okay, so I'm going to go back to, back to my little gray shack. See, this is, this is my brain. All right, let's give that a little snippet. Little snippet, you see. Now it's all sticky. It's all sticky. Okay, Marty, enjoy your day. Thanks for saying hi. I appreciate it. I'm glad to know. Well, I'm assuming you're doing okay. <laughs> missed you. I've missed you. All righty. Let's see here. Thanks, Marty. All right, girls, let's see. Now we're going into the second hill. And now I'm going to get me a pair of pliers. I'm going to get me a pair of pliers. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. Ta-da! Woo-hoo-hoo! Okay, now we're moving. Now we're making progress. Progress, I say. Progress. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. Okay, let's go through this. Second from the bottom. Oh, I think my bonus son sent me pictures in the wee hours of the morning. He's in uh, England as well. And I forgot to look at those this morning. I heard my phone chirping. And then my nephew did a butt dial at like 3 o'clock in the morning. It's usually my mother does that. Well, hers isn't a butt dial. Hers is she's trying to play a game. And she doesn't have her glasses on. She's hitting all the icons on her phone. Dell's leaving. Bye, Dell. Take care. Have a great day. I can't believe it's Friday again already. Now, this is really uh, wearing on the seam binding and kind of make it fraying, but it kind of looks cool. Yank it. 
Yankafru. Okay, let's, this, then we're going to go here, in and out, in and out. La, 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 la. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. There we go. Now I should be right back at the center. And sometimes if I push that push that down. Lori, that ribbon reminds me of something. <laughs> yeah, this is just seam binding that I took, a, you know, flattened out and ironed. And uh, I don't know if I coffee stained it or if this was the original color. But now, see, this is a little more difficult to center because I think I'm, I think I came through. The seam binding instead of right next to it. That might be one of the problems. The other problem is, you know, I've got double thickness going through. So let me let me try that again. And I'm gonna try to scoot and not I'm trying not to get into those fibers because that'll make it harder to pull it through. So I'm just going to give it a little wiggle. Oh, I think I've got it. All right, Aunt Beck, have a great and safe day. Stay cool. Here we go. Oh, I feel bad that my son's stitches are infected. Oh, look, here we go. So, like, I'm like an hour from him. So, like, for me, and his funds are tight. So, like, for him to run over in the car with the price of gas, we're just not doing that kind of thing these days. Okay, I've got it. Bye, George. I think I've got it. All right. So now I'm just going to tie it here. Now, these are way too long, but I'd rather it be longer than too short. Yeah, whatever their age. That's what my mom says, too. Okay. So my thought is, now I might end up whacking those, these flaps off, but right now I'm going to keep them. That's a single. I want it to be this away. Oh, look, this one I was messing around with, with like the little eyelash. <laughs> it's on the front. And I'm thinking I'll fold those in. And then I can tie this. So let's see. Oh, yes. Plenty to spare. 
so and it's going to get chubbier so i don't want to cut them too short so let's just i can always i can always trim i have a feeling i might not have my final fur baby for too much longer girls i just don't really even want to think about it i did it i did it we're down to our last dog my husband says no more after her and uh, she's got diabetes now her sugar is still through the roof i think it's causing her to go blind she has a doctor's appointment on friday she's not walking very well i have a feeling you may come home without her i don't know i could be wrong but she's having accidents you know she can't help it she can't help it okay so now it's just a matter of you know i've got all these tim holtz um stencils See, and this this works okay, you know. This this um, you know, really is quite nice to have it like this. And if I had a place to hang this where it was in my sight, and you know, I could do that, that would be great too. But I lose this. I pop this in all different things, different drawers, and and then I can't find it. Or you know, now I wouldn't put them all in one, of course. Let's see. I can slip these in here. And then I can use it like a file folder. Can I not? Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. And then I've got some six by six squares. And if I wanted to, I could really mark this, you know, and put Tim Holtz or what, you know, whatever. So now I think what I want to do, which I have done before with um, a little journal. I just go, I'm just going to go through and start adding stuff to the different pages. A little bit of the same thing on each page, maybe in a different spot. So what I have handy, at least I think I have it handy because I just moved it, is one of my, because I had it out the other day, one of my, <laughs> I said it's, I said it's handy, but I just had it moved it is my my stampin up wheelie thing where did lori put the stampin up wheelie for real is where to put my wheelie i'm gonna wash there it is i find it so these oh yeah there she is she's singing somebody's walking by i guess so i'm going to start by using this and i'm just going to start adding stuff Oh, might have had a delivery. I'm expecting glue sticks today. I wanted to get some glue sticks in for my neighbor friend. All right, let's just see my little drop cloth thing here. See if I can. Oh, I've got to pop this up. Yeah, here we go. So these are leaves. So I'm just going to start i'm gonna i'm gonna take my flaps out flaps out flaps in now what i'm also thinking is i might use some kind of um, tab to cover those holes i'm not such a big fan of glue sticks i'm getting better but i think the problem is mostly me i don't think i put enough of the glue down but for her and her eyesight's not that great i ordered the ones that are purple and dry clear because then she can see where she puts uh i mean i was saying earlier that uh, my neighbor is so bored she's 93 and she's lonely so i'm getting her started on a glue book Let's see if that'll help her all right so i'm just adding these little elements of this stamp on each page a little bit here and then that looks makes you look like you have vertigo i 
I should probably not go back and forth. Right, that's what I told her. It's a thing. Of course, she had never heard of it. Well, really, I hadn't either, you know. And so, it's something she can do. She's uncomfortable sitting in any other chair but her chair. And she can sit with a little lap, a little lappy thing, right? And uh, with the carpal tunnel, her hands um, don't work so well. She had surgery and, you know, that just didn't go all the way that she had hoped. But there's no guarantee with that. And, you know, she's not a spring chick, so her healing is not maybe as, as good as a younger person having it done. But um, with, with the glue book, she doesn't have to um, cut, you know, she can tear. So that's what I was thinking, you know, it might, so we'll see. And I have all the stuff, right, to get her started. So we'll see. I can't resist the urge to go back and forth. Okay, that's not good. I should just roll it. Roll it. Rolling down the river. All right. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Look at that. So just trying to give her some ideas, you know, do just start out by doing a page of all one color, you know, uh, because I know she's going to say, I don't know what to do. All right. So that's it for that. I can always come back and add more. Now, this is when I have a hard time popping that back down and putting my little my little lid thingy back in do, 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 do. all right now let's see what else we have oh maybe perhaps i should use a stencil now let's see what i have here let's try an ink an inky dink. Let's see. Let me get out a color that um, I don't necessarily. How am I on time? Okay. Can someone let me know? Well, there's peeled paint. That's green on green. Hot ink on hot ink. Right. That's an idea, too. Good point me i can make her a list of ideas and then once she gets rolling i think she'll she'll be fine uh the other thing is trying to find her some uh i don't think i have too much in this find her some free magazines now before i came on i was checking murray's uh free burlap that might look cool or maybe some uh peacock feathers we'll see uh, Murray's Facebook page, and I saw that Allie Kay had, or she found some kind of <clears throat> free magazine. So, you know, if I can sign her up for one of those. You have a ton of these wheels? I don't have a ton. Um, yes, I have the small, a smaller size too, Beth. I just had pulled out that one because that had leaves on it. And I think with the bugs, I was wanting, I was wanting leaves. So that's why I pulled that out. I've got snowflakes and I forget all what I have, but I have, I don't have tons, but, and you know what? They're, they're not cheap to buy anymore. Seeing everybody is caught on. All right. So let's get a Timmy. Oh, I love this stencil. 
I call I don't know if that's a Harlequin. I don't know what he calls it. And I don't clean my stencils as, as you might have been able to tell. Kathy, Kathy, good morning, good morning. How's our little Emerson? Is she there? Okay, I'm going to try the peeled paint. I love peeled paint. See if I can. Nope, you're not really seeing that one. Alrighty. Lovely, lovely. So I'm just adding little bits. And you know what? The fact is, this doesn't have to be decorated, right? It's just going to hold. It's really to function, really. And not necessarily have to be pretty or gorgeous. try some of this peacock oh yes I like it I like it and I'm just wherever and the other thing about this is really you could pull it out when you have extra paint slop in another bit of paint or you've got extra stuff you want to you're, you're um you've got some say some uh newsprint or book pages you can just add on each little page and then like this one little journal oh, it's one of my favorite journals i don't even know if i have it where i can grab it i used to keep it right here but I think, I think it's in my drawer. My drawer is kind of full. I'm trying to switch over my journals into my file cabinet drawer. And uh, this is what I did. I went through and I decorated certain things on each page. And then when I found um, something in a magazine or a piece of ephemera, that I liked I would pull out that journal and then just pop it in and then when I was in the mood I'm in the mood for love when I was in the mood I would then work say on a page and finish a page I wonder if I can get to it and show it to you just real quick but it was it's fun and it's of course it's not finished i have high hopes of one day having a journal that i finish but i'm not too sure that's that's really a reality oh look i might oh look girls these are my birthday presents for my sisters i could add those It's a little dungaree journal. It's got little dungaree sides. And I thought I popped it in my drawer here. And the thing is, is I've got the drawer open and a bunch of stuff stacked on top. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't see it. I'll have to pull it out for another time. It's got to be in that drawer, but I think I have it buried. It's just buried way down in there. You know, you can add a little piece of fabric. Well, you girls know. You all do, we all do the same thing, right? Um, the other thing I was thinking is that I have these things. This is like a cityscape. You know, this might be fun. 
Whoa, whoa. Let me grab some of this peacock. See, I've got this light purple area here. Mitzi? Mitzi's in the house? Mitzi, how late were you up last night? Or this morning? I kind of nodded off, so I lost track of what time people were in and out. Or See, look how cool that looks. Cool, right? So this is going to end up being like one of my favorite things. I'm going to take this all the way out to the edge. Like I said, it serves no purpose except to hold my stencils, which is what I wanted it before. But why can't it look cute as well? Right? And then... How late did you? Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock. Hey, Sherry. Four o'clock in the morning. And I'm so stinking nosy. I had to stay up. So I slept till eight. Oh, that looks cool. Hey, when I drag this instead of rubbing it around i'm dragging this this way like across can you see what i'm doing i'm kind of out of screen i don't want to move my hand too much it's kind of creating i think it's kind of creating a shadow on that one edge hold on let me see if you can tell no maybe you can't tell i don't know if you can see it And you see like right here, I've got an extra dark edge. I'm liking that, girls. I'm a liking it. A city in the sky. Then the other thing I have that I keep moving here, there, and everywhere are these chicks. Let's put one of these down. Let's see what happens when I put her down. Maybe I need to go to a different color. Let me get out an oxide. <laughs> Chickens. I never heard anybody say that about a chicken. Uh. ill-mannered chickens who would have ever who would have ever thought who would have ever thought who would have ever thought da, 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 da. i have a dark forest type green i think in my oxide bundled sage that's too light i have a seedless See, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, aged mahogany. That might work. I'm looking for some darker colors. I'm digging in my drawer. There we go. Seedless preserve. Let's try a little bit of that. I might try aged mahogany too. Okay, what am I missing? Well, watching Laurie James is educational. <laughs> Eye candy. It's musical. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. You're very sweet. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Okay. So I cleaned this this off on a paper towel here. Just, just a little bit. And let's put her. I'll put her uh, bottom right there on the, in the leaves. Okay, here we go, little girl. Oh, this is a lot more pink than I... Whoops. A lot more pink than I thought. Hey, sit still there, Missy. 
She's a bit wiggly. Well, that's not, um, that's not as good as I thought. Let's try the, um, I picked kind of a dark page. Let's go over that with the mahogany. wonder what you're having for dinner, Janet. What are you making? She could have a split personality. <laughs> Barbara, we're so much alike. I was thinking the same thing. All right, let's try to get, I'm going to try to get this edge of her face better. I have soot. Bye, Janet. Have a good rest of the evening. Enjoy your boys. So it's a little better. Let's let's have a redo with her on a later page. Let's see. Cover my peeled paint. Kitsch Flamingo. I don't know about the Kitsch Flamingo. Let's see if I've got a, a lighter page that I can put her on. That's a little bit lighter. Oh, this is a light page. Let's see. Let's have her, let's have her peeking out from those vans. Let's see if this is dark enough. I was thinking that earlier, Kathy, and I was going to say, oh, beef curry and apple. Ooh, nice. I was going to say, oh, because during the stream, I was, somebody said something about, oh, yeah, Keisha was selling stencils, and somebody said, oh, that would make a nice pie crust design, and I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah, pie for breakfast. How big can that be? I've got to watch. I don't know if my little puppy dog needs to go out. That looks better. I could probably deepen that too with a little bit of one of the browns. I don't have... Um, you do like real pie or do you make a breakfast pie? Oh, yeah, me too. Totally. Hmm. What did Malia say? I miss... Oh, she said they eat it Thanksgiving every day for... Nice. Nice. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pop her back in. Oh, yeah, I love a pumpkin. I love a pumpkin pie. I've got frayed burlap, but I don't know. Oh, okay. That must be this one. This is the only one without a lid. Does it say on the bottom? Yes. Thank you, Tim. Just a little bit close to the edge. Okay, that looks okay, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Now let me give her some. I think I want to give her. Hmm, I like that one. Let's give her some letters. Oh, 
I just love doing this kind of stuff. I can see I could do this all day. See, where I get in trouble is mixing my brush. It hasn't tasted it right since Rona. Aw. Yeah, I'm just not a tea person. Did I dip in the wrong one? No, that's the green. Cool. Let's put some of this down here. Okay. I guess it's probably rude to do something, your own work, and then say, cool. <laughs> Sorry. All right. My little poochie pooch has to go out. One moment, please. All right. Did anybody see? Is Lena on, or does anybody know if Lena's coming on? All right, Belle, just a minute. Come here, baby girl. Come on. I see a little hook hook. All right, don't go lay out in the sun. No parking, okay? The neighbors don't like it. I have some stamps sitting over here that I didn't, didn't put away. Shucker. I think I'm going to try my, my Timmy bubble stamp. I haven't tried it yet. This was on my wish list. Let's see here. Um, oops, she's barking. Oh, yeah, I had that years ago, but not in, not so much anymore. Try some lemon cake, strawberry shortcake, blueberry muffin. <laughs> No calories. See, good to know. So this comes with its own stamping plate, right? Bye, Malia. Have a great day. I hope the chickens treat you kindly. The neighbor must be out with his dog. All right. I think I want... See, I don't have any... Um... Maybe I want to stays on. What do you think? If I can get my drawer. See, I've got everything pulled out now. So let me pull out a stays on. Let's see this one. I think that's got some juice in it. Some of the I'm not going to be able to let her go too long. I'm going to have to go out and get her. We're in a 55 plus community and she's she she is very ill behaved. I'm so sorry. I shall be back. One moment. I have to yell to her because she's just old and she doesn't listen. Bella, Bella, come on. Let's come in. Come on. Come on, little girl. Come on. You can't be out there barking. You've got to do your business. Yeah, she hasn't done her business yet. She's busy out there. It's like she's never seen a human before. She barks at every every human she sees. Okay. All right, Kathy. I don't know if we'll be here or not. Depends on if um, Leah, I mean, Lena comes on. All right, let me ink this up. I haven't used this yet, so. I don't want a hard edge either. I'll take a 
a little bit of that off. And I want to get a good stamp. This doesn't look as juicy as I thought it was. Let me try it on my worksheet. Oh, she's a sweetheart, that little Emerson. Oh, my gosh. I would just like to squish her. <laughs> I need more ink. And if it comes out light the first, because you have to kind of condition these, right? If it comes out light the first couple of times, it's all right, because this is really background kind of. All right, so I've talked a lot about my bonus son who lives in England. But we had other students live with us, not just him. And we had a young woman live with us. Her name is Betsy. And what's me say, my little two? And I think he is suffering from separation anxiety since my Tonka has been, ah, yeah. Our little girl still looking for our loose. Yeah, going to throw some yogurt in a bowl and add some blueberries. Woohoo! Okay. So my Betsy uh, met her mate. He's married a couple of years ago. And uh, they are wanting to start a family. And that has not been God's will at this point. And so they have decided to foster and uh, their first little fella has been a challenge uh, but he's adorable uh, he was three when they got him he's four now he is one of 14 and um I wonder if this gold, you know, this gold prints pretty nicely. Let me try some of this gold. This is one of these. It looks like um, like a teardrop. Call it dewdrop. Dewdrop brilliance. Galaxy gold. Oh, nice. So they've been working with him. And uh, the little guy's got, you know, a lot of emotional problems. Parents went to jail. Uh, when the mom went to jail, she was about ready to have a set of twins. You know, it's just, it's been hard. Um, but he's adorable. And if he comes up for adoption, Betsy and her husband have decided they would like to do that. Well, they've just recently gotten, yeah, I know, it's nice and juicy. Woohoo! They recently got uh, this little fella's brother. He's five. And um, he's been in five homes in the last year. So my dear Betsy said to him, you can throw away the baggie that, you, that you're keeping your toothbrush in. Yes, he was one of 14. And this little fella said, no, I have to keep my bag for the next house I go to. And she's trying to help him understand he's at his forever home. So they're going to, you know, try to adopt both of these little love bugs. Oh, my gosh. I know, right, Amy? I, I just, can you imagine five homes? You're five years old, five homes in a year. So she went out and bought the matching outfits and they got these really cool sneakers and she's got it set up where, you know, if you want to, you can uh, make a gift. So I don't know if I'm going to send her money to just get what they need or go pick out something, but she's turned out to be an amazing young woman. Well, she was an amazing young woman, but she has always had a heart for young people and youth. She was always involved in youth ministry and stuff. 
and uh, her husband was a pastor, and and then he um, was in the Coast Guard, and now he's a, a chaplain for them. So I mean, they're just they just bought a home big enough where they can have more children, you know. So you don't hear a lot of that stuff, kind of stuff, gals, you know. And this is these are there's some wonderful things happening. Look, I smushed that a little bit, but that that's all right. Boy, that stays wet for a while. Hold on. Heat gun. Oh, Judy. I I would guess. Just the title. Oh. I don't like that. See, this is still tacky. I said to my sisters, how many homes across the country and the world? I mean, how many, not homes, how many children? You know, dealing with the same stuff. Ugh, oh, my heart. All right, so if I close that, maybe I'll get a little bit of an impression on that. I don't know if I have something that's really juicy. I need to go through and ink my... One of these little ones might be juicy. Now I'm going to have gold and black um, mix, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Let's see what this does. Okay. Not too shabby. Let's see if we can get a little bit over here. I know, right? I mean, he, they're mommy and daddy to the to the first little fellow that they've had because they've had him over a year now, and uh, they I think they quickly became mommy and daddy. But when she first got him, they had the monitor on, you know, so they could see if he was sleeping and how he was doing, if he was in his room playing or or what, you know, to just keep tabs on him and he would sit in the middle of his bed and rock himself and say mommy and daddy said they would come get me mommy and daddy said they will come get me mommy and daddy were in jail and i don't even want to tell you what the charges were not good This is a really cool stamp. I love it. Love it. I didn't realize it was this big when I saw Tim messing around with it. Or maybe it wasn't Tim. It might have been Susie, the shabby soul. She used it on a couple of her projects. Oh man, I thought, oh man, I thought it was just a little stamp. Nice. I really like it. Oh, thank you, sisters. Sisters, sisters. And then they got me the stitch. The stitches. The Timmy stitches, which I wanted as well. Let's see. I haven't tried them yet. I'm so busy. Yeah, I hope so too. And I, I'm hoping, you know, like my one sister said, well, are the parents going to give them up? And I don't know if they have a choice. Um, they're being recommended for adoption. Um... I think this the charges were such that they may not really be able to get them back. If I can just say that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And 
it's not easy. Um, you know, Betsy, she babysat, but she th was thrown into being a mom with a three-year-old, you know. For those of us that are moms, whether we adopted an infant or had our own, you know, you had time to grow into a three-year-old, you know, so... She's doing really well, but it's not easy. My own kids, I mean, well, my son, it was not easy. I'm just saying. All right, let me use this little stitcher. Let me use a little stitcher. Now, I don't know if I have my long here let's see if it fits on this one let's just see all right my little doggie's resting in the shade she's quiet so she's okay for a little while <sighs> yes that's true too Mets. yeah This pad is really juicy. Juicy, juicy. Mm. Maybe I'll go this way. <laughs> okay, I love it. See, that's not... I don't know whether it's because I'm stamping on paint that it's not drying right away. Um, you know, so the, the paper's not really. Hi, Violet. Were your ears burning? Well, I wasn't really talking about you, but I was talking about Frankie. I think three, Mitz. I think she said three. I was saying, um, oh, I think I have the wrong Violet. I have a different violet. Oh, it's violet, violet. Hi. <laughs> now, I was talking about Frankie. I was, there was, there's not too many violets, right? So I was thinking I didn't see the CMT at first. I don't know. I think it's the other violet. I don't know. Maybe it is you. Do you um, stream with, uh, well, do you, um, how would you say, MC for uh, Fran on the Edge? Mad Frankie, yes. Yeah, is, is it you? Do I have the right violet? Anyway, I was saying, I'm Igor. I was saying that Frankie's um, projects that she was working on, was it yesterday? Oh my gosh, they were so cool and so beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's make this a stitch go this way. Stitching time saves nine. Sometimes I get a little wobbly. Let me put a stitch here. I forget you can do a half, you know? You don't have to do the whole kit and caboodle as they say um mitts i'm not sure i think she meant central because when she said what three for yesterday i was waiting for her to come on but for me it was like four four thirty i think she said three thirty so i don't really know she probably will put up a post Okay, so then I'm thinking, you know, you have pages of stuff you can glue stuff on, right? So I'm just kind of stamping and doing different stuff, things that I'm finding, sitting around. What do I have here? Oh, that's, that's cool stuff, but I don't want that on here. I think I want to grab some maybe book. Oh, you're welcome, Mitzi. I don't think I... I don't think I really helped too much because I don't 
I didn't pay that close attention. It was like four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Do, 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 do. I want some old book pages, you know, to put some and then maybe some stenciling. The other thing, too, I have the whale tail. Um, tab thing I might I might do that there I don't know why just because I'm thinking I might want to do it but this, this these need a lot more work each page right okay thanks to me it was so nice to see you have a great day now usually I have bits of things sitting Oh my gosh, I gotta get this happy meal out too. I see I move things and then I blame my husband a lot of times for moving things. And then I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. My sisters gave me that too. Let's stamp some of him. Oh I love living nail stumps. They look like fiddle fiddlehead ferns. I don't know if I don't know if this is a good. If anybody notices if Lena comes on, please let me know. I don't have my, um, I don't know what I do with my phone. So I don't know that I'm going to get a notice. I don't like to overlap. Let's see, this one's real sticky. Fiddlehead, fiddlehead, fiddlehead fern. Let's see, let's try a black one first. This black is so nice and juicy. Oh my gosh, I love it already. Let's put him over here. So I guess most of you have been here a while, but even for the replayers, I'll just say, so this is really just um, a workhorse kind of a journal for me. Oh my gosh, girls, I'm off screen. Look at this stamp. Huh? I love it. But why not just mess around and play too, right? Oh, look, I didn't do that good. Let's see. I'm kind of on the center where my binding is. I shouldn't rock and roll like that. I know there's ink on there. Let's try it this way. Don't do it this way, girls. Don't do it this way. I love this. I love this. The, this company has so many really cool, like, um, I call them like lantern pods. It's some kind of a plant and they look like um, a Chinese lantern to me. And they have bubbles. All kinds of really cool stuff. They're um, Christmas trees. <sighs> They're so cool to me. And I first saw these, um, that gal that calls herself um, Rach 0113 or something like that. I don't know if she does anything anymore. I keep forgetting to look. He gun. Okay, so maybe I should try.
try to finish a page. Let's see, what do I have that I can grab that's kind of close by, but maybe not so much. Let's just see if I have any, um, anything that I think will work here. Has anybody tried that uh, wax process that uh, Shua or Joey um, put up a video? You know, where she cuts wax and then takes an iron, puts two pages together. Let's see what's in here. There surely is something in here I can rip apart. There's some text about vegetables. That works, right? Vegetables. Oh, this is a nice uh, heavier weight. I didn't get the connection. I thought, oh no, maybe I should on I ask Mad Frankie. She's a stitch. She does really innovative and cool stuff. That little Frankie girl. I was gonna go meet her too when I was on my trip and then we were so tired at that point and my, we had just driven two hours to get to London. And, of course, I, I'm directionally challenged. And so we were a lot further away from Frankie than I thought. And I just was in no shape to get on a train and try to figure out where to go myself. We had a car. But, see, they drive on the other side of the road and we had a... And that's, you know, that, that I can handle. But it was a stick shift. And I can do a stick shift, but a right-handed one. I can't do it left-handed and uh, my brain just couldn't um and it was a two-hour ride one way it was disappointing i know perhaps perhaps another time i do hope i get to go back And my son was like, oh, mom, I love you, but I don't think I can get back in the car and do it. <sighs> I know, I know. I understood that. That was a lot. Fran on the edge. Yes, me and Frankie. All right, I'm just going to... Glue down some. Whoops. That has a little bit of slide. I guess I could have used a glue stick. I just don't always grab the glue stick. I don't know why. I've got one sitting right here. I might have to because this is this is clogging. This is clogging. Good question mitts i think i have it written down but i don't know if i is it right here no i have it on my computer i think it's wednesday so wednesday 
Violet. Yeah, she's a few. Yeah. Right. And she was saying, because we were, you know, in contact, of course, quite a bit then. And she was um, trying to give me directions. And she said her place was hard to find. And I thought, well, once I got, if I got there close, you know, my son could do something. Oh, you switched to Mondays? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what time of the day? I think, oh, what? afternoon like two-ish or so oh okay um she said her place was hard to find i figured my son could find it but he was just we were beat to the socks that's just it's just that just the way it was and i would have pushed if we had an automatic car i would have done it definitely would have done it and of course that's um didn't work out to meet janet either that's when her dad passed and so that didn't work out either so and i i taken happy mail because i was expecting to see them both uh, so the cool thing is uh my son took it to the post office for me and it Camille, it, and it was uh, one central, two eastern. Cool beans. So, at least that worked out. I didn't have to cart all that jazz home. <laughs> all right, let's see what else I have in here. It's just a bag of stuff. See, like I said earlier, I just throw stuff in bags. And then I say, oh, I'll put it away later. And then later never comes. I wonder what I did with my bugs. I have bugs somewhere. Oh, they might be behind me. Oh, thanks, Violet. I just got them for my birthday. My sisters treated me. I uh, They asked me, you know, some things that I might like to have, so I gave them some suggestions. I didn't know what they would pick out. I was so surprised to get the Timmy. The Timmy. Uh, I could put that on the edge, too. The uh, Timmy bubble stamp, because everywhere I looked, it was uh, pretty much out of stock. Gosh, I didn't know we had all this stuff in here. Oh, these are like little postcards. You're already subbed and you haven't mercy. See, that's what everybody keeps saying. Last night, Keisha recommended that. If, if you're not getting notification to perhaps oh, look at that pretty feather, go in and unsubscribe and then resubscribe and then hit the uh, all notification. And oh, look at that. Neat, look at that neat piece of stuff. Maybe that would um, help. I don't know. I might have to try that because like I didn't get, I don't think I got Zenith notice. I don't get Frankie's. I'm sub to Frankie. I just happened to be on my phone and saw that she came on one day. It's curiouser and curiouser. All right. Now I had out my... Here it is. I do like to ink dink. That's just what you did. <laughs> Great minds, great minds. Okay. 
Maybe I can put that there. Look, that's just as disintegrating. I wonder if I can look some of this is just kind of falling apart. I kind of like that. I love that signature. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Man, I wish I could write like that. I know I'm running out of room. Look, oh look, look what I did. My uh, seam binding landed on my peacock ink pad. Oh well. Now I've got a bit of a design on that. How lovely. A little feather goes with it too. Now what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. My gold. See, this is what I do. I leave everything open. And then pages. Lay in it. And I am a bit of a struggle. A bit of a struggle. All right, so this is my. What is Violet saying? I'm thinking there's an algorithm involved too. Yes, see, I'm not too smart to even. Uh, that algorithm just slays me. Where if you don't watch a channel for a while, it goes down. Oh, maybe, Violet. Oh, yeah, you are clever. How about that? Yeah, you're probably right. Hmm. All right, let's get this inked. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to ink this other stuff because it's so flimsy. Let's take some of this off. So I don't want to totally cover up my So no Lena, huh? Well, it's not quite 12 yet, so maybe not yet. Uh-oh. Rut row. Well, that's not good all right so now what i'm gonna do is because i'm not throwing that out that's got a lot of glue in there look the other side is cool too but i love that stamp i don't know where the heck i got this 1897 this is 1897 there Okay, I need a palette knife kind of scooper duper kind of thing. I think I need a comfort break too. All right, let's mash that back out. See, that's just not going to that's not going to cooperate. I'm going to get sticky. I'm going to get sticky. So now this is just like using yes paste. See, there's a lot of glue down in there, girls. I'm so cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I have to remember to tell my neighbor that. I know, I'm covering up stuff, but that's all right. I, I like this better. I like that way better. I like this 35. Let's uh, use this cute little piece. I never thought that I would 
think like a little piece of old paper would be so yummy. But I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Let's see. I don't know what this, I have no idea what this is. Aritho? Some kind of grid or chart or math or I don't know. Let's pop that there. We're just popping down stuff. We're just popping. Give it a push. Give it a push. Give it a shove. And I am sticky. I am sticky. This still looks damp. I guess maybe it just has a little bit of a shine to it, but no, maybe it is still a little wet. Oh, yes, yeah, see? I don't have that problem. Me and reading? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. When I did try to read years ago, oh, look, I found these. Um, I would read like maybe a chapter or two and then get so impatient that um, I would just go to the end of the book and read the last page. Done done absolutely done maybe a couple of these purple I could go purple and green it's not the best green and not the best purple my mother who is an avid reader has been an avid reader oh my gosh we would stand and say ma mom mom 15 minutes if she was reading and then she'd finally say what i mean she was a good mom it, it just she was so engrossed she didn't even hear us okay and then when i told her what i was doing she's like what don't do that and i'm like and eh, did it done it we'll continue to do it if i continue to read i just can't I can't be bothered. It, I'm just too impatient. Really, Barbara? Well, that's where I guess we part ways. Yeah, my son, my husband reads all the time, which is really funny. Now our son, who we could never get him to read in school, he reads. And our daughter, she used to, but they get that from their dad and from you know my mom i guess not from their mama um our daughter would walk through the house walk into a wall because she had her face in a book i don't know if this is gonna work but let's just see i like that peeled paint girls i really do like peeled paint I was thinking I'd cover up that hole with some of these. That'll work, right? Let's see if I can get this to unclog. Oh, the trouble. Right here in River City. I always had poor comprehension in high school, in school, not just high school, school period. So I think that was a lot of it for me. I have to read the same thing over and over and over and 
They didn't address stuff like that when I was in school. So. All right, let's see if I can get some glue out of this. If you ever have paint bookers from your bottles of paint, you could use them to embellish your page, too. You know, I was recently thinking about that, Violet. Not so much with the bookers, um, but even the, um, you know, when you uncap it, the little crusty part that's um, around the top of the little opening. Because they kind of look like flower buds. They're great minds think alike and i thought oh my gosh if i tell anybody that i'm now i'm saving those they're gonna think i really have really have gone a little too far that's way too much glue for that so no lena huh i don't want to take advantage Hey, that looks kind of cute, right? So maybe I'll do, uh, let's see, that's green, purple, green. See how I am? It's craziness. I don't really have to do that, but I'm thinking I will. I've got some lilac in my, uh... oh, that's what you call boogers? Okay, because sometimes, see, because I'm naughty and I put my paintbrushes in my cap, Yes, Lena is Miss Lennox. Is she on? No, Barb, she's no, still no sighting. Okay. Um, sometimes I get those big lumps in the, my bottles of paint, you know, and I have to uncap them and dig out the big old, the big old, big old, big old booger. That's inappropriate. I shouldn't say things like, shouldn't say things like that. All right, let's see what my, let's see, what do I have here in the way of a, oh, look, just you stick down. Don't be disagreeable. Okay, she's on. Okay, she's on a minute ago. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to skedaddle. So this is my project for today. I took some. 12 by 9 envelopes that were headed for the trash bin and opened up the one end, painted on them, stitched them together with some seam binding and I'm going to use it to store stencils that I like to use on a regular basis and uh, keep it by my workstation you know where I can grab it and rummage through use it like a filing cabinet I think I'm going to keep these flaps on maybe some of them will be open I was thinking about folding them over two pages I don't know I can do what I want right It's my project. So it shouldn't get too chunky because, you know, I'm just going to, and look, kind of a happy accident that got uh, dropped on my, I could leave them open like this or if I tuck these all in. Do, 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 So thank you everyone for joining me, hanging out. Probably going to fuss around a little bit more here. Got a little cleanup to do in the kitchen. Whatever my little heart desires. Yes, ma'am. I could even tie this on the front to kind of make it look cute. Right? So as that bulges out, if I want to keep it all together, I've got a little, little way to tie it shut. And there you have it. All right. Thanks for joining me. I shall see you on the tube somewhere don't forget this afternoon three o'clock central 333 central i believe 
Keisha's Market will be on, and it's Friday, so you want to catch Lena. She's just popped on now. And, of course, our dear Mary, she should be on later this evening. Uh, I always forget the time, 6, 7, something like that, Eastern, probably 7, because I think she's Central. She has dinner and then comes on. might be a little later on Fridays. But Susan Gerald, hello, hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Just getting out of here, just scooting. So we'll see you all soon. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. I love you. Bye-bye.